All right, Skywatchers, we have a few things to talk about tonight. Winter tornadoes, November hurricanes, and radioactive tsunamis. Let's get right into it. What's up, Skywatchers? What is up indeed? Friday, October 31st, 2025. Hurricane Melissa made landfall in Jamaica on October 28th as a Category 5 storm, leaving at least 19 dead and 46 dead across the Caribbean overall, including Haiti and the Dominican Republic. Communications are still down across the Western Paradise and many communities remain cut off. They'll call it homegrown development, but there's nothing natural about it. And if you didn't see my last video on it, I will include it in the description box. Through stratospheric aerosols and directed energy heating, they can extend storm seasons indefinitely, bending the jet stream and building wind shear, layers that feed these monsters. Taking a look at the National Weather Service map as of October 31st, 2025, here's what's happening across the country right now. Montana and Wyoming have high wind warnings, gusts above 50 miles an hour, blowing snow through the passes. The Pacific Northwest, an atmospheric river, is pushing off the Pacific. Heavy rains, mountain snow, and strong coastal winds from Northern California through Washington State. And the Northern Plains into Minnesota, a frost and freeze advisory tonight as temperatures fall well below normal. The mid-Atlantic and northeast gusty wind conditions behind a departing system. Wind advisories from Virginia to Maine, gale warnings off of the New England coast. And the southeast is mostly quiet except for a few frost alerts across the Appalachians. And in Alaska, a coastal storm and gale warnings as another North Pacific system moves through. That's the national snapshot, wind, cold, and early winter energy already in motion. Now let's talk a little bit about atmospheric heating and wind shear. Those aerosols above your head are metallic and conductive, and they are used for artificial wind shear. Heat them and you alter the vertical temperature gradient. That's how hurricanes spin long past their time and why November storms now look like August. This is the system that they're calling homegrown development. It's engineered weather born in our skies and winter tornadoes and perpetual seasons as we move into november prepare for winter tornadoes and the off-season cyclones it's always the season now tornadoes in december ice storms in march tropical remnants over the rockies none of it's random the same forces driving hurricane formation are destabilizing jet streams colliding warm and cold sectors in ways we've never seen in a natural system. All right, guys, as we make our way through the Great Reset, we're going to be anticipating America's golden dome and a nuclear escalation. While the skies are being weaponized, Russia just tested the Poseidon, an autonomous nuclear-powered torpedo capable of creating radioactive ocean swells that could devastate coastal cities. Russia is testing their nuclear capabilities again, and America is restarting our testing. And here at home, the Golden Dome Project quietly returns as both nations restart nuclear testing. As October closes, the planet feels like it's on the edge. Category 5 storms, atmospheric rivers, nuclear tests, and jet streams splitting like torn threads. They call this homegrown development. But the storms, the radiation, the chaos, they're all manufactured and they're all connected. We are being set up, so don't fall for it. Before I wrap up tonight, I want to say a real big thank you to everyone who has supported the channel this month. VK Arm Arm, Sylvia Dunn, Thankful, Lynn Perkins, Mel G, Denise B, thank you. I couldn't do this without you guys. I'm holding things together one thread at a time and your help keeps me doing this work. It means more than I can say. Every thumbs up, every share, every message, every bit of support. It keeps this channel alive. Much love and many thanks. Okay, Sky Watchers, stay aware, be prepared, and until next time, keep looking up.